All right, guys, on to video number 11. Hey, um, this is going to be a pretty good one, too. We're going to start making a couple of uh, assemblies or takeoff properties, okay? We're going to make them and test them, okay? By now, you should have had an opportunity. Let's go to the developers one. To make a, some takeoff properties. And in those takeoff properties, uh, hopefully you've built something um, similar to this, okay? And you, you don't have to do them all. Just do one and test it. And that's what we're going to do, okay? So me personally, you don't have to do yours this way. Every estimator is different. They've got their um, experience behind them. That makes them very good at what they do. Uh, so uh, trying to learn to do things in my fashion may not be the best. I, I've got 40 years experience and I'm stubborn. Uh, so if you have better ideas, awesome. You know, let me know. Okay. I may not be too stubborn. I might, I might, you know, borrow them. Anyways. Uh, so what I have is, is what we talked about is a takeoff property. And in that takeoff property, I'm hoping that it's going to give me all the information I need to provide an estimate, to provide some quality reports, some informational reports, and um, maybe even order some materials, okay? So let's let's dive into this head first, okay? And we're just gonna use this count, and we're gonna go ahead and count five items, all right? And we have uh, over here, We I've already did a tree. We're gonna kinda use something that I've already done also, but we're gonna build one, okay? So first thing we're going to need is some assemblies uh, we'll need a material assembly i can drag it in there and i'm sure you guys know that once we build it and you test it that you can copy it and put it into your templates as tested is ready to use type of thing or ready to modify so when you build something here in a job like i do i build everything in a job and i i check it i test it um uh, I'm not going to worry about cost codes right now. Uh, that might be something you won't do. So I'm going to do that. So we've got materials. Let's put in some materials. Let's put in uh, material number one. Why don't we make a fence post, okay? So every time we count a fence post, uh, we get one, one count, and let's call it a six-foot. I don't know much about fencing. Uh, six-foot height. Better go eight because you got to bury it, right? Uh, post and those things are thirty dollars or two dollars a piece um, let's make it three inches I, I like I said I don't know okay so we've got that okay let's go ahead and do a couple bags of concrete and we could be doing the vendors and stuff but let's uh, we're gonna need two of those per post and those guys are five bucks a piece. Let's put in some clamps. And we're gonna need two, one, two, let's go three per post. Let's go six, because we have three on each side. And they're $1.75. Okay, so this is turning out pretty good. Um, we gotta do our, um, crew we're gonna need a crew in there so to do this we're gonna um, um, I don't know if I have fence in here or not I do all right fencing okay um, I wonder if my materials here oh good I've caught something here fence hardscape labor you can see I made a mistake over here see how I have a, an assembly within an assembly we do not want to do that. So I'm going to delete that. Um, I'm going to make sure I drag it into the actual takeoff property and we'll call it fence, uh, fencing and that'll be a cost code. Okay. So now you see how these are at the same level. We're going to add some people. Let's go ahead and add, oh, construction labors. And we're going to do one 
Let's duplicate two. And we're gonna might as well do our fence uh, takeoff property. Fence, uh, eight foot post. And they should probably be able to do one, 1 1.5 an hour. Okay, so they get, what is that, 45 minutes. All right. Um, oh, we, you know, we're going to need a post hole digger. Okay. And you can see where I'm going. I'm just building this from scratch, just like we're going. I don't know if I have a post hole digger. So we'll just use a, uh, what do they call those things, a dingo. Oh, it's equipment. Okay, sorry. I'm tired. Okay. I need to drag in equipment into the equipment assembly and we're going to do it with the production rate um crew production rate i'll show you that once i get this done let's go uh dingo dingo there it is all right now uh, i have three different types of equipment and we can look at those on a, on a later date if you want but um they're tied to a database one gives so many so much time per count so we could say hey every time it drills a hole it gets 10 minutes or 15 minutes or we could leave it with the crew production rate so as the crew's working it's working with it full time or we can say hey we're just going to rent a dingo for a day and charge 300 bucks you know that type of stuff all right so look at this we built this in a matter of um me gabbing around and talking still six minutes okay now what we want to do is go make sure that we have uh, something working and estimating and it looks like everything's kind of doing what it's supposed to do here uh, we got the crew working there's three hours each for those two guys they're getting 31 bucks an hour and we have all these material prices so what I recommend before you go start building a ton of stuff let's look at this in reports um and i i've already built up some uh proposals uh let's go by division now i better go by folder so you know when you buy the plugin you get a bunch of reports uh so this is just for that one folder if i wanted to i could do something like this where that folder could include the trees or if I put it in a folder um, it gives me the prices and everything else um, but you know so we, we got 1568.86 for our price uh, we probably should go into our bid cost make sure that it's matching it's not uh, so we should oh that's our budget sorry that's our cost um, bid cost report that's what 1586.16 so it's real important that those numbers match and if you're finding out that your numbers are not matching make sure you're checking your taxes and because and, here see how it totals the tax totally different um, so if you start adding tax to your material price at the wrong time it messes up with this report and your proposal never match or if you add it at the wrong time it could mess up your uh, you can end up with a unit price, but still not match this. Um, if you want, we can jump into that. I've been eight minutes with this. But anyways, what I'm saying is go ahead and start checking all of your reports. Okay, did you have a, re a, a report for production rate? What's the, how many guys are in the crew? Uh, all this information is built into those parts. Uh, again if you want to buy the parts they're like 35 bucks on my website uh look for it somewhere it'll be there um we'll, we'll we can hook you up it's just you buy it you use it i don't care um not making a bunch of money on it um and i guess it helps you know so we also have how many mandates we want we also have a labor you know um, what's our total quantity of how many hours what are the guys doing you know things like that so when you look at these you can see that i've put a lot of work into this not only the cost code the hours from the production rates things like that and that's all built into these parts uh heck let's look at the crew so we have the description which is uh, you know the construction labor and then i'm carrying the name down from the top which is that fence eight foot post 
and that's part of the takeoff property too, fence, eight foot post. So that information, because I've built it into this, is being passed all over the place that you can sort it, pull it out, uh, uh, filter it, do anything you want. Um, these Again, this is all the formulas that I'm putting in there that makes these reports work so well. Um, and also at the bottom, you know, where we have division, when we set our division at the takeoff property, it's going to set it right here um, in this. Now we didn't set it, so let's go. Let's go set our division here at this. Um, I don't know if I have a fencing. Yeah, fences and gates. So now when I go to look at that fence labor, he's going to be charged to fences and gates for that division. And that tree, so if I go to a, a report by division, now I have fences and gates, and I have landscape. So again, it, it pays to hit your brakes, check everything just a ton of times, assemble it, make sure it's getting everything that you want to cover in that fence post or whatever it is you're estimating. Do your formula in the materials. Uh, check it, check it, check it. Once you're really happy with it, then duplicate it. Uh, instead of doing a, a count, do a linear and do your fence fabric. Uh, do the tension bars if you want. Uh, you know, create it. Just build it and test it as you go. Don't just go in there and say, oh, I'm going to build this, I'm going to build this, I'm going to build this. And then all of a sudden you're, you're like, oh, I didn't put in uh, the division or I didn't put in cost codes or I didn't put in a material class. And I really wanted to do that. So check it is what I guess I'm trying to say out of 11 minutes. Build it and check it. Build it and check it. Then duplicate it. Okay?